This ancient crop can't get you high, but it can help keep temperatures low. Hemp is really good at pulling carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. Just one acre takes about 10 tons of carbon out of the air. That's more CO2 than the average home emits in a year. And we should be growing a lot more hemp because it could revolutionize some of our more carbon intensive industries. Concrete is the most widely used man-made material in the world. If cement were a country, it'd be the third largest emitter of CO2. So some construction companies are using something called hempcrete instead. Hempcrete is carbon negative because it's made with the woody core of hemp plants, water, and a lime-based binder. It's also a great insulator and it's fire and pest resistant. Hempcrete can even be made into bricks, just like concrete, and they can last for hundreds of years. Hemp fibers can even be spun into cloth and be an alternative for cotton. Hemp requires half the amount of land to grow as cotton. And from field to factory, hemp uses about a quarter of the amount of water as cotton. Most cotton is also incredibly carbon intensive. Growing and processing one kilogram of cotton fibers releases about two and a half times more carbon dioxide than hemp fibers. Hemp can even be used to replace plastic, which is made from oil and polluting all corners of the planet. By 2050, fossil fuel emissions from plastic production and incineration could reach 2.75 billion metric tons per year. Hemp-based plastic can be made into anything from containers to frisbees, musical instruments, speakers, furniture, and even car parts. Even better, hemp plastic is non-toxic and biodegradable. Hemp has thousands of other uses and benefits too. It has fast growing roots and can absorb toxic substances from soil. In Italy, Europe's largest steel plant was poisoning soil and livestock. In 2011, a handful of farmers began planting hemp as a way to cleanse the soil. Even in the 90s, scientists used hemp to help purify contaminated fields near Chernobyl. By 2016, farmers all across the region had hopped on the hemp bandwagon. While hemp is a variety of cannabis, it has such low psychoactive properties that it can't get you high. Smoking it would get you no more high than smoking a stalk of celery. Hemp was used for thousands of years to make everything from paper to cloth. And it was a major crop for most of US history. But it was banned in 1970 because of the global war on recreational drugs, stigma, and misinformation. But then in 2018, Congress passed the Hemp Farming Act with bipartisan support. The bill legalized the processing and cultivation of hemp for industrial purposes. The USDA just created the U.S. Domestic Hemp Production Program to regulate hemp production and help growers get crop insurance and loans. The program also made it legal to grow hemp as a crop in all 50 states. In 2019, hemp is on track to store up to 1 million tons of CO2. Now that hemp is legal again, it's already become an ally in the fight against climate change. Share if you're hot for hemp.